All right, the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh 130 piece tool set or tool kit for $29.99. Is it worth it? 100% it is absolutely worth it. And I don't care what you say, Mr. Mac Tools or Snap On, shut your fat mouth. You don't know anything about tools and value. This set I've had for over a year. I think I bought it in January of last year. I've used it a ton. Um, as you can see, it's dirty. I've carried it all around the yard. I've worked in my shed. I've worked in the garage. And it has been flawless. Um, now, remember, this is not a tool set for a professional mechanic. This is for odd jobs for small repairs and things like that. But the good thing about this is it has just about everything you need. For example, uh, if you can see over here, I have a snowblower that I had to do a bunch of work on. Uh, if you saw a previous video, you saw that I welded the axle um, so it has traction all the time. But I had to take the wheels off. There's a pin that um, holds the uh, rim to the axle there. You gotta pull that pin out. Now, let's go back to the tool set. It's got a pair of needle nose pliers and a hammer. Boom, roasted. It was ready to go. This is a great set for having in your garage for if you need a handful of tools. Uh, another example, let's say you have, um, you gotta use a 9 16 socket and you gotta hold a 9 16 um, wrench on the other side to hold the other bolt down or the other nut on the side of the bolt. You have the wrench to go opposite of that um, socket. Now, uh, things I haven't used in the past year on here. I haven't really used any of the um, screwdriver bits. There's some Torx, there's some Star, there's Flat, there's Phillips, of course. I haven't used those because if I need a screwdriver, I just reach in my drawer and I grab a Phillips or a flat head. And if I need a Torx head or a T head, I have those in this drawer. So I didn't have a use for that. The tape measure, again, I have several tape measures hanging around the garage. There's not much use for that. Um, the sockets. Now, the downfall to the sockets here is that f you have a um, 3 8 inch drive ratchet, but most of these are going to be quarter inch drives. So let's say you grab a half inch socket right here. So you're like, all right, oh, I got a half inch. Ah, oh, crap. So it is a quarter drive um, socket. So what you got to do is you need to grab the adapter which is right here and then you gotta plug that guy onto there and then you can put your ratchet on and then you can use it that can be kind of a pain in the ass but like i said before this is not for professional mechanics this is for occasional use and for odd jobs so the good thing is when you need this and when you need uh, a couple different tools to complete the job this set most likely is going to have you covered uh, unless you're doing anything big. Uh, yeah, I've worked on flipping air compressors with these. I have fixed my lawnmower with this. Of course, I showed you I just did the snowblower with this. I've worked on a couple things on my truck with this, and it really has held up. I haven't snapped anything, but of course, I really haven't wrenched anything too hard because uh, it is a cheaper metal. So it's not really meant for that kind of use. I have a better set for that. Um, you do have some other um, like picture hanging pieces. That's probably how they get the 130 pieces by having nails and stuff in there. So yeah, um, but you got metric and standard Allen wrenches on there. Uh, the adjustable is not bad. The wire cutters, eh, so-so. But um, if you need a pair of locking pliers to hold something down while you're wrenching it, you have them there. It's got, as you can see, a couple different kinds of screwdrivers there. It's got stubby ones, which in some stores, these are three or four bucks a piece regardless. So it's a, it's a fantastic value. If you don't have this, go out and buy it. It um, locks right down, snaps in place. It's got a pretty good little carrying case. So you really can't go wrong with that. Um, get it for your garage, get it for your shed, uh, get it for the back of your truck or for the back of your car if you have an old beater piece of crap car. It's really good to have around because it's got a lot of different uses and you're not gonna be fumbling around your garage looking for five different tools when you can just grab this set. So good luck, I hope that you get it.